So we got a little special guest coming in today's video. A lot of people probably recognize this car and just take a quick little look in the back. Doesn't appear to be too stock. I can automatically see some headers. I see a lot of AN lines and I see a big meth injection. Looks like a race car on the street and then you walk up to the front and um, for those who don't know, the secret boost juice right here, nitrous. We have Amelia Hartford in the house today, and she's actually here because she's gonna be saving my ass. We also are gonna have Sheepy Alex come down as well, but there are a few things that honestly, I'm gonna have Amelia explain to you guys because she understands the CA platform a million times more than I do because I haven't even had this car for, for months. I've only had it now for a week. Amelia, how are you gonna save me today? How much stuff is wrong with my car? Not a lot. You're like pretty much there. There's just a couple little things that we're gonna tweak. I, I keep coming to her off camera. I'm like, I feel like there's a lot of stuff wrong with my car and I'm very, very scared. She. I literally just plugged in one connector and then we're gonna do something really small and you should be good. Who's the connector from? Uh, it's wanna... from Pites Performance. Okay. The guy who designed my twin turbo kit. So I'm gonna leave all of his info down below because I wanna make this very clear. If it wasn't for Amelia, this car would not be, I mean, hopefully at the that's end of this a, that's video. A pretty, that's a pretty deep statement there. No, but it is true because even Alex was like, yo, we've been asking Amelia a lot of questions for our twin turbo kit. A lot of this stuff is literally coming straight from Amelia. So I'm gonna link all of her stuff down below. If you haven't already watched her videos, she has a ton more C8 stuff and she's been making boost and a lot more power than I have for a long time. So definitely check that out because this video is literally dedicated all to her help and I'm very thank thankful for it because I don't really know anything about this car. What are you looking for? You look like you're just Post pulling Post cutters or a pair of scissors. Okay, we have a few of those here. So Amelia had me order these check valves um, and we overnighted them just to get them here on time. And we're gonna be putting a check valve. Actually, I'm not even gonna do the explaining because this isn't this isn't my build, this is Amelia's Don't build. Don't make me explain it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're putting a check valve for crankcase ventilation. So when he goes into boost, we're not over pressurizing the crankcase. So if you guys haven't seen Amelia's videos, she actually had quite a uh, good time with her C8 when she twin turboed her. She, you guys finished yours months ago, like um, three months ago, a long probably time. like a month or two. Isn't it was that? like the, tur the turbo kit or the new engine? <laughs> no, 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 the first one. Where you, I remember like months ago, you did like a, a standing dig. Like that oh, was yeah, a while ago. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, like, yeah, I think that was in like June or July. We had similar setups. Let me just put it this way: we had similar setups, and what Amelia was explaining is the reason why they had issues is because there was no ventilation for the crankcase. So when they boosted, all of that boost went into the housing and has nowhere else to go. Which one? That is what this check valve will help for. It'll help yeah. get rid of all that excess pressure because this car does not come boosted stock. Most modern engines, Amelia was telling me, was that they usually come with some sort of check valve so there's a release. Am I, does that kind of sound right, Amelia, yeah, no, for the perfect, most part? Yeah. So this is making a makeshift one at the moment. And there are a few other bits and pieces we're gonna change around today that Alex is gonna be helping us with, but. You ready to fucking wide open throttle? I hope so. I don't, I don't want my car to break. <laughs> That's what I'm a little scared of. You just gotta of. worry about the transmission next. You're good. Do you, do you know what, these, what they're good for? Well, yeah, you're- Yeah, we know exactly what they're good for. Right? <laughs> yeah, ask me how I know. <laughs> <laughs> your factory fueling is probably good for like 650, but your clutches aren't gonna be able to bite much more after that anyways. Do you have any slipping issues on yours? Oh yeah, you wanna drive it? <laughs> I do wanna drive it, but like I was telling you when she rolled up, she was like, you wanna go drive it? I'm like, honestly, I don't wanna drive yours and then have a high expectation and drive mine and have it not be as good. So we'll get this one driving first and then we'll end the day in Amelia's and we'll probably do a couple rolls together. But if you're slipping, I think maybe I might have some beginner's luck on mine. You know, you got these virgin clutches in your car. I, right I got a freshie that I've never done anything in this car. But one issue that I do have on mine is, and I told you this before, I have a random code that thinks that my frunk is open. So I have a top oh, yeah. speed limited to, to, the... to 83 miles per hour. Okay, cool, so we'll do the roll at like 60, right? We'll do a roll at 60 <laughs> and we'll just whoever gets the jump wins. Or we could do digs. Actually, probably with my clutches, we probably don't wanna do it. We'll do a dig, that sounds great. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Test out your clutches on a dig, you know? Yeah, launch control mode. Wait, this car has launch control mode? Dead ass. I'm being dead ass. Seriously? I'm being dead, well, cause remember when I, when we- That's how I blew my car. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, I swear to God, I have no, like I really don't know anything about this car. Oh yeah, launch control. Damn. <laughs> Damn. We got all the boost today. Holy f***ing race car. Thank you. That's what I said. I'm like, damn. This is not fair. That's exactly what I said. I'm like, this <laughs> isn't nearly fair. what ours looks like. Hey, this is how you can tell V8 people worked on it. Look at this wiring. <laughs> hey, it's R&D. We're not done yet. I wiped out my phone. Good Shall thing I have it my saved. Phone? Oh, oh, I have my phone in my pocket. I have it saved. You do? Perfect. Yeah. I think it's pin two. Is it just one wire or two? Just the signal wire we're pulling out. 
They're like little oh, yeah, 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 yeah. into it. Yeah, so number two is what we're gonna pull out. I've shown you a few products in the past, but today I'm showing you the number one necessity for everyone out there who likes their car to look clean. This is Meguiar's Ultimate Waterless Wash and Wax Spray. What makes this product so amazing is how easy it is to use. I always keep a bottle of this in my car matched along with a microfiber, and it allows you to mist on the car and immediately wipe away to get a brand new crystal clear finish on the car. So here we are looking at the Mark V Super. This car has been sitting outside for two days, and as you can see, there's a layer of dust on the car. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna spray one mist on the car and simply just wipe away. You can immediately see the difference of how much it's able to clean, and all it takes is one swipe. I'll do it again. You spray and simply wipe, and immediately get a mirror-like finish on top of the car. No hose or bucket needed. This is a game changer to keep on your car at all times. So whenever you need to clean it up really quickly, use the Ultimate Waterless Wash and Wax Spray, and you can thank me later. Check this product out from Meguiar's. I have it linked down below in the description. And the next time you're in stores, keep your eyes peeled for it, because trust me, you need it. Thank you so much for Meguiar's for being a partner of this channel, and now let's get back to today's video. He what do you mean? It. What do you? I can. What? what no, do you, no, that, that, that's how you plug it to the center. What we want to do is take off the back shell. This back part, to the wire. Right, this black piece. Correct. I'm not sure why Alex what gave the uh, deep pinning job to Doug oh. with, with the most gorilla-like oh. fingers out of everyone here. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, you're gonna crush it. Be careful. Yeah, this breaks and you're done. Yeah, this is it. This is the life of the car. Why are you? Why am I? Why do I have this job? <laughs> <laughs> here, That's what I was saying. <laughs> wait for this it. This is quite the responsibility. Oh my God. TJC8 now lies in your hands, yeah. literally. I wasn't working. Oh! You got it. You got wait, it? Maybe. Hold on. Don't clip, I swear if this clips back in. So we deep in the math, according to Amelia, this is needed. Put a check valve from crankcase to manifold. Added a check valve down at the oiling system, and we should be good. So we're gonna fire it up for the first time, but before I do that, gotta have a NOS. <laughs> it's about that time, Alex. I got mine right here, buddy. Yeah, it's about that time. You're speaking Spanish, I'm, and I sometimes I don't know what you're really saying. I'm speaking good. Cheers. Nice nah, life. <laughs> Here's to not blowing oil out the back. Profusely. I feel a little bit, oh, it's so no, it's kind of, out the back. That was a joke because it's going to. Okay, okay, so I'm going to destroy it. You guys are backing up. It doesn't get, it's not that bad. Are you plugged into HP tuners? Uh, I am. So with HP tuners, you can actually at least see what's going on with the car. You can't do anything yet, but we uh, everything looks good. Everything looks good so far. You're uh, you're getting voltage to your flux capacitor. <laughs> Technically, should be okay for a rip. I'm ready to send if you are. Yeah. Do you want to roll with me yeah. and a passenger? Yeah. So you and know. And I'll keep it. an eye on this too. To yeah. Sure. And then we'll come back and we'll see how it goes, and then. Okay. And I'll log it too, so when we get back, if Alex wants to look back at it, he can also. Oh yeah. All right, Amelia and I are gonna go for a drive. She's gonna watch the logs, make sure everything looks okay. Yeah. And this will be our full, no, this will be our first full throttle, or easing into full throttle. Oh boy, you're gonna be so excited. So you ready? We'll do second gear, you ready? This will be full throttle. Let's do it. No, but what yeah, you cut. It looked pretty good. No, it, it it felt good. I definitely felt I definitely felt the boost. Yeah. It was it almost felt like a, 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 a little little push. It was like a little push of boost. Yeah, I mean it's not much, you know. No, it's not much at all, but it was fairly smooth and it I was actually a little surprised. Was that wide open? Yeah, that was wide open. We'll do it again. I may they are getting a little not lean lean, but if I say come off, come off. Okay. But you're good. I would just <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Wow! Wow! That that caught me off guard. Damn. Okay. How did that look? Did that? It was good. I wanna. Yeah, I just burned off. That's how pressure. That's not terrifying to look at. Dude, how much do you think that backed up in the exhaust? A lot. It's, your turbos are. That's yeah. all from that. It yeah, was coming on my blow valves at one point. I had so much in it. I don't feel so bad. 
right, like right there and right there. That's condensation. Uh, I, I got oil on mine on the ground over there. It's a the V-band clamp. You guys know firsthand I'm not a car girl so I have absolutely no idea what they're trying to troubleshoot out there. All I know is that I'm sitting there watching them pull in and out with the C8 and I'm so jealous I can't drive it. So let's go see what's going on. See if we can find a fix. I think maybe it is the oh, yeah. I'm down, that's a good idea. <laughs> Spray, did you film anything while I was gone? Oh, you know what I think might be happening? What? Your map might be soaked in oil. I thought about that, but it wasn't wet when we pulled it out. Not wet when we pulled oh. it out? Oh, fuck. That's exactly what's happening. Your shit's soaked, bro. That's... So much oil buildup that it was getting sucked into the intake. But now that it's burned off for the most part, it should be okay. Your shit's you... wet, wet. Yeah, but it's, it's wet, wet. It's my wet, hair's wet, wet. wet. <laughs> <laughs> this is my map wet. This is my map wet, wet. <laughs> I wasn't oh, filming God. at all Sorry, that since, good. that was an aggressive slap. Yeah, I wasn't filming anything after we did our first pulls, but I did pulls with Amelia, everything was great. And then I went back out with Alex to show him how it was driving, and we went into limp mode like every single time, and the car's been freaking out. Amelia's been on the phone like calling all of her contacts, trying to come up with, come up with some ideas, and... Bro, we got into like the barometric pressure of the... You were saying like some and I was like, I don't even know what the, hell you're, what the hell you're talking about. But eventually we just came to the idea that my truck has this same part on it and we were about to go rip it off of the truck and put a block off plate from my truck in there and then leave my math well, dangling. We should put your math in anyways because that's probably destroyed. Do you have any rice? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, there's rice all over the shop. Dude, what do you yeah. mean? <laughs> I feel like you should be able to we clean it. We can wipe it, it off yeah. and see. <laughs> nah, it should be fine. I'll speak in hypotheticals oh, yeah. though, because I don't want to. Should be fine, always. <laughs> Alright, so we just cleaned off our sensor, put it back in the car. We're going to see if it gets covered in oil again. If it does, we're going to have to figure out a solution to cover the sensor and leave our map dangling. Hopefully this fixes our issue. In theory, we're hoping that there was just so much oil in the system before that when we did our pulls, we covered the sensor. Hopefully we shot out most of the oil so it doesn't happen again. If it doesn't happen again, everything should be fine. And then we can do launch control. And then we can do launch, <laughs> launch control. And then Amelia and I can do And you a got race. your car back! Don't celebrate yet. Don't celebrate yet. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm nervous for I'm not ready if you're ready. Alright, first gear, here we go. Nope. Immediately. Nope. Yeah, it did. That's it. Yeah, your sensor might be destroyed. But if the sensor's destroyed, why would it allow us to not go into limp mode? Why would it allow us not to go limp mode? Like, why would it allow us to start and it would work fine the moment we give it gas, then it freaks out? Like, if the sensor was destroyed, wouldn't it automatically throw us into limp mode as we start up? Unless the sensor was never covered in oil and we always needed to cover the, the hole. Does that make sense? No. Explain it again. So, unless the oil on the sensor wasn't damaging the sensor in any way, and instead it always had to do with the fact that the sensor is in the hole, so we still need to take the sensor out and plug up the hole. Okay. We have the plate, we can try that. Yeah, but the plate doesn't cover a lot, though. We can take the sensor off your truck and try that real quick. And then potentially damage my map sensor on my truck and cover it in oil. We could try it. <laughs> we could try it, and I don't know what else there is to do. Because I, because that if we make a plate and it still has pass through, like it's still, it's not a closed. Because the car went back in limp mode, now we're gonna remove the math sensor out and we're gonna put a block off plate on the intake manifold and then in theory, we'll allow, and then no, and then we'll just, and then we're gonna dangle the math sensor just in the engine bay and try to bypass what's going on. I don't know if it's gonna work. Amelia thinks it's gonna work. Well, we're not using the signal anyways. We pulled that wire out, so we just need power and ground. So, in theory. In theory, it works, and I'm gonna go off with the only person who has a working for the C8, so I'm gonna take that judgment. I don't wanna leave here until your C8's like running good. That's a bold claim. I've officially like. And I, I appreciate the love, but I don't wanna keep you here till midnight. We'll see. Well, okay. I don't think you want to stay here till midnight because no. you know I will. Yeah, I, <laughs> Call of Duty Zombies comes out tonight, so. <laughs> if this is enough, here we go. Sensors dangling, lock off plate on the intake. 
It's not ghetto. It's not ghetto. It's, it's not fine. Ghetto. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm it's, not crying. It's fine. Yeah, everything is fine. It's all fine. I'm not as excited as I was the last time, but I'm still hopeful. Yeah, I feel a little sketch right now. I'll be I, honest. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll roll into it a little bit before going wide open throttle. Just to like. I still fucking do it if you're gonna do it. Limp mode. Why? Straight in the limp. What the f So it. So what would be causing it? So this lineup is a lineup that was supposed to happen today because we were supposed to have our race, but at the end of the day, guys, we've been working on it all day and we just cannot figure it out. We're gonna have to spend a day, probably go up north, hang out with Amelia and her crew who have really dived and, and like torn apart her C8. We're just getting some weird error codes that we can't figure out. We first thought it was something for the MAF, now we're pretty sure it's nothing to do with the MAF, now we think it's something to do with the throttle uh, positioning sensor. We just don't know. Coming soon. Hopefully we should get it very, very soon. But someone who just rolled up, it's our good friend Crispy, and his whole entire crew. We're gonna be filming a video tomorrow, but he came in late tonight because I think, did you have your first issue? Our second issue, but second the, issue. the day before, so it still counts. Yeah, so power steering. Uh, somehow the nut came off the power steering pulley and ate away, uh, but it was held on by our AN fitting right behind it, so we didn't lose the whole pulley and didn't explode. So that's good. So what are you guys doing for everyone who doesn't already know? <sighs> Currently, we're going on a cross-country road trip with my 2005 Suru Legacy GT, 683 horsepower on air on about negative eight degrees of camber from New York to LA to here in San Diego, uh, then looping back around over the course of the entire month of October. We lift on the 2nd, it's currently the 20th. We're about 5,500 miles in on both my cars um, and we're documenting the whole thing. And we're gonna do some fun stuff with TJ. When you're so bored during COVID that you come up with an absolute nut plan that no, no one jobs. should ever do and their whole entire ride have no job. It makes sense, there are no events and Absolutely I film events. So crazy. why not take the month off and have some fun? Absolutely <laughs> crazy. Yeah, we filmed this at SEMA last year for those who saw those vlogs. Mm -hmm. So people say, oh, SEMA cars don't drive. Well, here's an example of one that actually does drive and it's crazy. Didn't you beat like a 458 or something on the freeway? Uh, GT3 RS. GT3 RS. You wanna watch? Yes. <laughs> well, I, I missed my shift to fit, so you know. Oh, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, are we doing it from a roll or a dig? We have to do it from a roll. Okay, fine. I can't dig. I'll give you a head start. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> It worked again. <laughs> it worked! It works? Well, I was right behind. What do you mean it worked? I, you didn't lose me. You, uh, you never had your car. You you <laughs> thought you had me, but you didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I was too far ahead to notice it how far you went. <laughs> what the f***? Well, it's going to work again. Oh, yeah. That's a boost right now for sure. Um, well, I'll let it simmer tonight. Okay, so that's weird because I just told him it didn't work and we gave up. But you... Find a light. Yeah, Sean took off the, the throttle body and cleaned the... What'd you clean? <laughs> I, don't I don't even know, dude. Cleaned some sensor and it didn't look dirty, but like maybe it was dirty. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to, I don't know what to say I because think, it just worked. Is your check engine light on right now? No. Oh, wow. I think you're winning right now. Well, we're going to put it in for the night. Button it up. Maybe it's maybe 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 you secret sauced it. Maybe. I think I think it's just clearing those codes over and over and over again. That's what Pites was saying to do. It worked. We didn't, now now we actually race. Sit. Who wants to see the best two boys in the world? Oh, boys, doing it before I even ask. Shake, good boy. Koji, shake, shake it at the same time. Who wants bacon? Bacon, yummy. Oh, Kona. Kona. Kona gets too excited. I love when his tail wags when he's huge. Yummy, yummy. Look at the old sausage boy. You're a big loaf. You're a big loaf. It's, no, it's just because he's got short legs. Don't be. No, you're a big loaf. Big loafy. Kona, you a big loaf? Are you a big happy loaf? Are you a big happy sausage loaf boy? Oh, he's a sausage and a loaf now? He's, he's a combination of a lot of things, okay? Kona, you're a K. 
For those of you who are into Apple products, I ordered the iPhone right when it came out. And I know it's not my iPhone, but I have two little products that came in. That MagSafe charger. I don't know what this is, and I don't know why I bought it, but I bought it. Don't know what that is. And I got a new case, because no cases will be out for this phone for quite a while. I also ordered, so I ordered the iPhone 12 Pro. Didn't get the Max, because the Max is an, just obnoxious and unnecessary. Sabrina is gonna get the Max when it comes out. I just think it's too big. It doesn't fit in any of the self-charging platforms in any of my cars, so it'd just be silly. Oh, geez, what a first world problem. I mean, it's <laughs> true, it's just too big and obnoxious, and I'm really excited about it. I think mine will come on the 23rd. I ordered it right, I ordered it like a minute after the pre-order is open, so hopefully I get mine very, very soon. Guys, that was an intense day. That was a very long day. Uh, we, I was just talking about Sabrina, 11 hours from start to finish from when I got to the shop this, when, from when I got to the shop this morning to when I left. It was 11 hours. Multiple back and forth, back and forth. I get to see it dialed in, but the last pull, I don't know how well I explained it, but the last pull we did when we were just leaving that little photo shoot where Crispy was, my car was working fine. And we like just cleaned out the throttle body and cleaned out like the throttle positioning sensor a little bit and just wiped it down and put it all back together and the car didn't act up. But again, in the beginning of the day, our first run and everything was like fresh, it worked fine. Then after that, it was like screwing up. So tomorrow we'll do another pull. And if it doesn't go into limp mode, we should be fixed for the moment. Now the sensor that we have right now, we have the math sensor like just dangling in the engine bay and it's not actually reading anything. That's all like temporary, temporary stuff. I think later this week or the start of next week, I'm actually gonna drive up to LA and spend another day with Amelia and her team because they have the whole entire state platform uh, dialed up as far as what it comes to being able to get the car to run properly with what we have at the moment because the ECUs are still locked and everyone's having issues. But that's good progress, boys. Big hype on that. Sabrina's been really picky about what type of water she drinks and the type of plastic that stores her water. Did I say that right? I did say that right, huh? I hate having one of these things in the house. Sorry, we have all, we have all the lights off right now, so I'm using a phone <laughs> light so you guys can actually see. Waiting. But tell them that you like it, you enjoy it. I, I think it looks ugly and I don't like it in the house. Ow. Oh. I, we have this, we, we, from, we have coming, one of these things at the, the office, okay? Coming from the guy that put a sim downstairs, right when you want The it. sim is legendary. It's ugly though. The sim, what do you mean ugly? It's one of like the best things in the house. Huh? Are you kidding me, bro? Oh, you're right. I'm the first and that's the second. <laughs> um, I just think it looks ugly, but the water is good. I don't know why I was telling you guys that, but... Oh, thank you. No, you were gonna tell them that. It looks ugly, but you're happy because it always provides cold water at night. All right, boys. Well, this is really today's video is gonna end. Gotta say thank you if you watched this long, because if you watch this song, it means you must be a true OG or a true supporter. So for that, I thank you. And if you watch this long, I would assume, oh, you are definitely subscribed and liking every video and commenting down below. But if you're not, please do that because when you guys subscribe, it helps out the channel dramatically. And when you give this video a thumbs up, which I hope you would have done by now because you've watched this long, or you're asleep. You could be asleep right now. It could be 12.03 in the morning and this video is playing in the background because you are such a big fan of the videos that you just put TJ Hunt every night on YouTube and just let the videos roll and you might not even be really paying attention or you could be doing homework or you could be listening to this as you're driving and you're like Teej I would like the video but I'm driving and I can't operate my phone while you're driving. Could be any of those things but get this video a thumbs up. If your name is Richard and you're in the 10th grade and you also drive a Honda Civic, shout out to you because that was the most personalized shout out ever and the odds of one of you being that exact person are very low but if it is you, post something on Instagram so I could see it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and keep moving forward.